Hello folks, Project Reboot here. Got a, um, a customer request this time, this week. Had a chap called Daniel come in and um, he needs his gaming PC upgraded. And I said, well, what, what do you want to do with it? And he wants to play modern games. And this isn't up to it. This is, what? how old is this, Bernie? He said it's, um, it's about six years old. Six, seven, six, eight, seven, even, yeah. Eight it's getting on. Yeah. Um, so there's several components in here which we are going to reuse, which Bernie will talk you through. Uh, there's other components which are just too old and we need to upgrade. So um, what we'll do is have a quick review of the box the, before we we'll discuss what we're going to be putting in there and we'll see how we go. Okay, so what's the case then, Bernie? It, it is a I, thermal take case. I think the case is alright. The case is alright. We we'll use that one. I think the case is alright, isn't it? Yes. It's just the contents which are uh, dubious. What have we got then, Bernie? Starting from top, at the top. At the top, there, underneath that cooler, we have uh, an Intel i5 2500K. The K tells us that we can overclock it if we so wish, but we're not going to. So that's second gen from... Second gen i5. 2012? Yeah, I would say. Something like that? Yeah, around that era. Alright. What's the RAM situation? We've got two sticks of um, Corsair RAM. Uh, they are four gigabytes in total, two two gigabyte sticks. Oh, that won't be uh, enough. 1600 megs, I think they are. Alright. Um, What's this thing here? Coming then? down, we've got... Uh, an, AM, an AMD Radeon HD5770 card. Uh, it's an old card. I don't think it will. Oh. I, I think it will struggle to do DX10. I don't think it will do DX11. I was playing 12. Duke Nukem 3D on that, Burns. Oh, well, that, that tells that's you how, so long how old it is, isn't it? Yeah. That's no good. That's going to have to go. What else we got? We've got a Wi Fi card. Okay. And then. That's all right. A Corsair CX600 power supply. Nice power supplies. Yeah. What about the drive situation? And there's a Western Digital 500 gigabyte hard drive. Where is it? It's underneath all this spaghetti. <laughs> God, there, oh, there it is. And a DVD drive at the top there. Uh, it also has on the top, I've just noticed, whether there's anything in there, a dock. Ooh. Oh, take an external drive. Oh, OK. External, yep. So it's a lot, it needs a good old blast through Burns, doesn't it? Yes, it's a, oh, I did know what the motherboard was. It is a, somewhere hidden underneath the graphics card. It's an Asus. It's an Asus. On 1155 socket, Bernie. Yeah, 1155, definitely. So what are we keeping? What are we keeping? Right, we are keeping the case. Once it give, once okay. we give it a good clean up. Power supply. Yeah, assuming it Again, works. A good clean up, we'll... Doctor power it just to make sure that it's up to spec and then it works. Mm -hmm. um, the motherboard will keep on the Wi-Fi card. The CPU will keep. And yeah, that's going to be a bit of um. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, yeah, we've got to test. We've got to test the motherboard first, and the hard drive. Okay. Right. So, uh, what you got there then, Bernie? We've got a package from our good friend Novatech. Oh. So. That suggests to me you've bought some new components, Bernie. I haven't. Daniel has. Ah, yep. For, to put into this system. So, let's have a look, see what we got inside. Out with the trusty Swiss Army knife. We don't mention the verge at that point. <laughs> Oh dear, that's um, that's a very in joke to the community. If you're aware of that, we won't discuss that further. What's in the box, Bernie? Air, oh, air. Hmm. Air. More air. A cooler. What is it? It is a. Arctic Freezer 7 Pro Compact Multi Compatible CPU Tower Cooler. So this will sit on top of the CPU and it will be more efficient. It's a more efficient cooler 
than, than the stock cooler, so yes. it'll, it'll go up to a higher temperature. I agree. That was about £18, that was. Uh, so, OK, so that's that one thing. An envelope. What's in the envelope, Bernie? And the winner is... <laughs> Oh, what is it? It is a Kingston 500 gigabyte SSD, I think. So no, 480. All right. Okay, so this is going to be the boot drive. It's an A400 from Kingston. Uh, we've used these before on the 250, 200, 240 gig. Uh, this is a 480. That was £47, I think. I think that's all right for that. Right? Next. Ooh. It is a Gigabyte GeForce GTX mm, 1660 Ti. Brand new. Fantastic. How much was that? was 269 I think 269 quid so that is going to be what's that going to go that's going to replace that old monster in there Burns isn't it let's have a look shall we up a bit very nice so that's a wind is that a wind force yes it's a wind force OC six gigabytes very Ooh. nice oh yeah. lack of VGA and DVI ports yes it does appear that they have we have They've evolved burns. One, they? two, three display ports mm. and one HDMI port. Yeah, you don't get DVIs anymore. That's um, a legacy port. So we're on to display port and HDMI now. And an 8 pin power for the uh, to go for the uh, nice. DCI. Very impressive. Okay, so the plan is first get the blaster out and give it a good old blast because it is well caked. Then we're going to take the motherboard out because uh, it's got to come out anyway because of the back plate on the new cooler. So that will go on Frankenrig and we'll test that. Um, we're going to test, we're going to do a Dr. Power on. Um, on the power supply burns, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Um, the existing hard drive in there uh, is going to become storage drive. Swap the graphics card over. Now, I'm not sure if this second gen is going to be is going to bottleneck the graphics card. We're just going to have to see how it goes. The guy didn't want to go for a full upgrade on everything. He couldn't afford to do it. But his most important priority was to get a decent graphics card. And I think that's going to be fantastic in there. The CPU may well be thrashing and we'll just have to see how we go on that one. So that's the plan. Next shot is going to see Bernie blasting all this dust out of it. Go Bernie.
Um, so we've given this a blast. Now one thing the uh, Daniel, the customer, did say, he said he thinks he might have spilt a bit of coffee over it. So there is a bit of sort of yellow browny gunge around the coolers. Um, bit of residue all over the over that. I'll give you a zoom in on that one. The back looks okay, so I'm not sure how. Oh dear! All around the ram slots. I'll show you that. Let's zoom into that. There we are. There's all residue there. There's residue all over here, over the back of the ram slots. So. Mm, bit of mess isn't it so it's debatable whether this board is actually going to work because um, it hasn't been turned on for about three or four years he said what are you doing Bernie got the power just trying to work out where all the connections are um, PCI PCI. Should we talk our viewers through Dr. Power, Bernie? Yeah, so I'm now, well, I've plugged the SATA cable in. Let me show that up close, can you? Right, so that's Dr. Power 2. Coincidentally, it's made by the same people who made the case. Fun, take. fun fact. So, on the back of Dr. Power, it's very clearly marked about which one's the PCI Express, the Molex and the CPU header. They will only go in one way. Do not force them because they're only plastic um, sockets on those and you need to be just a little bit careful. Right. Ooh. Power supply is a fault. Press red again, press a button. Keep it pressed. Okay, so 11 point. PCI is okay. The CPU is okay. And it's, there we go, the fault is going to be on the SATA rail. Right, let's try Molex. Well, it looks like the 3 volt, the 3.3 volt rail. Uh, has problems according to Dr. Power. Right, there's been some developments. The uh, Corsair 6, uh, CX600 is failing on the 3.3 volt rail, so we can't use this. Um, so that is a casualty. Instead, um, I'm going to have to salvage. Uh, what's in here, Bernie? Is it? So, um, we're going to salvage this one out of um, a Fortnite HP Pro 400 Gamer that I made. Uh, it's got a 750 watt. Is that a Novatech, Bernie, in there? Isn't it's it? another our friends at Novatech. Novatech, um, 750 watt. So we're going to take that one out. Semi modular. So that's going in, is it? Oh, okay. Mm. So well, let's do that. Not quite. Okay, we've put um, the motherboard on Frankenrig. Uh, Retro Marky is with us. Hello. Um, and there's a strange smell coming off it. You haven't it even smells. turned it on yet. I did. It was on here, but it wasn't turned on on there. Ah, right. That's you're going to you're going to attempt to. I'm going to see a bit of power. Stand back. No, we have a red light on the power switch. Oh, I see smoke here. It's dead, Jim. It's dead. There we go. Smoke there. Really? Yep. Tiny bit. Yep. All right. That's probably what that smell is. Yep, you can smell burning. Oh dear. It's fried. Not getting on very well here. That's two things busted so far. Yep. Right, post-mortem then, Bernie. Yeah, I've taken the... Um heat sink off of this area where the smoke was and the smell, the magic smell is definitely based around this chip. Um, so that's an ex motherboard? Yes. 
So have we got a replacement then? Yes, we got the board that was on Frankenrig, which is this board, which is um, an MSI Z68A-GD55. So we're going to stick that in it. It's the same chipset as as the other board, the Z68. At the that moment, one. yeah. At the moment, it's got um, an i7-3770 in there. Yes. Um, we'll keep the chip, but I think what we'll do, Bernie, is we'll put a third-gen i5 in it. Uh, we're going to rob one out of these. We've got uh, an i5-3470. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be our salvage. Um, that's going to obviously add um, a significant amount of cost to this build now. Yes. Plus so the power supply. Power supply and motherboard. So things are mounting up, but we know that the board is good. The motherboard is working. So I don't think we'll use this heat pump uh, uh, cooler. Oh, no, no, we're not using that. We're not using that. We'll use our Arctic, our... Um, the Arctic one. one we bought. So that's going to be a job for the next day. So, see you in the morning. It's the next day, well, it's a few days later actually. Um, been doing some thinking overnight about this build now. Made a few changes. I know I said I was going to go for the i5-3470 from one of our HP boxes that I showed you. Um, having slept on that, um, I think what we're actually going to do, and um, Bernie's quite in agreement with, with this, the i7-3770 that's on this motherboard already that we know works, we're going to leave that in because all this is doing is just sitting on Frankenberry Franken burning, isn't it? Nothing. It's yeah, not doing wasted. anything. We're not letting it, its legs stretch, really, so we might as well use it in this, and at least that way it will give the GTX 1660 Ti a little bit more headroom to work with um, and there's probably a lot of you gamers out there who are maybe on a third or fourth gen system considering buying a new graphics card so this might be relevant to you leave some comments in the section below discuss it see what you think about that um, so that is what we're going to do now one of the reasons I've made that decision really is because it was the things that happened in the first day where everything didn't work basically and I was so obsessed with being positive about my my slogan which is think positive and positive things will happen well actually not everything is positive not everything works all the time now so I'm now going to call that the Daniel rule which is test before commit test before commit now had we tested everything and we found out that the motherboard was, was knackered and what else was this was knackered? Power supply. Power supply, yeah. All those added expenses which we didn't really know existed to start with. That's the old board. Other decisions may well have been made because of that. Uh, may have gone for a, you know, a standard off-the-shelf build perhaps. Or other things might have played out. So, to compensate for that, we're going to stick the i7 in there. Give as much as we can with what we've got. And hopefully, everything will be peachy. That's the Arctic, Arctic Sky. Freezer Pro. With its kit all... I don't want to disturb the patch of splodge on the bottom. Because um, chances are it's probably better, better quality splodge than the one we use. I agree. It being Arctic. The cooler is on. Turn the board round, Burns. There it is, looking pretty. That went on well. Easy peasy. Right, there we go. Stage one done. What's next? What's next then, Bernie? Put the rubber board in its case, I think. Yeah. Offer it. Are we going to offer it up? Offer it up. Excellent. What are we doing, Bernie? Offering it up. Right. I'll put the IO shield in already. Mm. 
I think that's catching on on something. It looks all right. Now there we go. Oh, no, shield is. Yeah, that looks all right. All right, Bernie, what are you doing? And the next step is to put in power supply. We recognise that logo. That's from our friends at Novatech. Um, so, and this power supply is a 750 watt power supply, but it's semi-modular. Semi meaning these parts we can plug in. So we only plug in the cables we actually use. These ones are for the for the motherboard, the 8 pin CPU and the 24 pin motherboard. So we could probably get away with just the one SATA that has four connections on it and the GPU that we will be putting in later, I won't say what it is just yet, requires can't remember if it requires a six pin or an eight pin. One eight pin, I think. Yeah, it requires an eight pin. So this is why we've only got one eight pin lead. Right. In and this power supply shall be going in at the bottom of the case, like so. So it's drawing in air from underneath. Blasting it out the back. Blowing it out the back. Right, we're making progress, Bernie, aren't we? Slowly but surely. Just to recap, the board is in. We've connected a few bits and pieces up to it. The front headers are on. Power supply's in. Spaghetti needs to be tidied up. What's next? Dan, dan, dan. Right, it's time for the GTX 1660 Ti. The reveal. We've done a reveal on here yet? We have, haven't we? Well, yeah, I think we have. Yeah. We've done. All right. So what are we going to do with this then, Bernie? It's going in here. It's going to be offered up. Lovely jubbly. Right. Let's. I've done that before. Okay. Forgot to take that off. <laughs> let's um. Let's offer it up then, Bernie. Right. Is that power cable going to be in the way? Can't see. No. no. That's gone in quite, quite nicely actually. Proper job. Quite nice and solid. I'm happy with that. Right, two K screws. Bolt him down. Jobs are good. Oh, eight pin. There we go. That's in. All right. Well, we'll do a bit of cable management later, but that's uh, that's looking a good. That's looking good. Excellent. Are we ready then, Bernie? Are we ready for a BIOS fire up? I think. Yeah. So we've got all the um, basic bits in there now, haven't we? Yes. All right. Let's get it on the bench and um, hit the button, shall we? Mm-hmm. Right. Stand clear then, everybody. Engage. What key are we going for, Bernie? You know the BIOS key? What is it? MSI. Um, delete, maybe? Dell. Go on then. F1 to run setup. Right. All right. UFE BIOS. I think we've been in here several times because this is the i7-3770 so it knows about it and everything is normal CPU is running at a 
normal temperature burns, isn't it? There we are. Yeah, 30 odd. Yeah. All right, so we're going to tinker in this for a while. Um, we're not going to set anything up major, but this is just a first test, really. How's the build going, Bernie? Um, well, I had a few minor hiccups, but um, yeah, got there in the end. Needs a bit of tidying up with the spaghetti and, and stuff. All right, so the card is in, all is working, and we're running. Heaven. We're running heaven. Let's have a. Um, has that done its business yet? Yes. Oh, what a mark. Good save. All right, so we're running Cinebench and we're seeing how this i7-3770 is performing. And actually, it's doing very well, I think. So we'll come back when that has completed and see what the score is. Well, there it is. 668 score on the i7-3770, running at 3.4 gigs. Not a bad chip. Not a bad chip at all, I don't think. So we're running the um, OpenGL uh, video test on this now uh, in Cinebench, just to um, see how the card is performing. So um, the OpenGL result is 70 frames per second. I don't know if that's good or not. I've got nothing to compare it with. So. Leave some comments about that. But that is running this GTX 1660 Ti, um, the Gigabyte Wind Force. OC. Oh, OC. Six gigabytes, yes. Right, we're just running a bit of Fire Strike Bernie, is it? I think so. Time Spy. Time Spy, ah. Okay. Just to uh, give it some work to do. Time Spy has finished with a score of 5,760. Again, your guys will have to tell me if that's good or not. So we're running the 3D Mark Skydiver benchmark. Just to get an overall average feel of these. Skydiver results, 29,005. Is that good? Leave some comments. Finally for benchmarks, we thought we'd give it um, some work to do, give it a bit of fire strike. See how the i7 and the 1660 Ti go together. Fire Strike has finished. Score of 12,680 and that's using the GTX 1660 Ti and the i7-3770. Right we're done with the benchmarking. Uh, we're happy with the build Bernie aren't we? Yep. It's all come together very well now um, and we're just doing a bit of cable management on the back of this. It's an older style case and the cable management on the rear panel isn't great. There's not a great deal of room. You can't put the 24-pin the spine up there. Um, so we're just kind of making the best we can really just to get this build um, back together. One of the things we did notice about this case is that this front USB port uh, is knackered. It's, um, it's an ex-USB port, that one. This is, the, this is the, um, the customer's own case, so there's nothing we can do about that. We've put the customer's um, Wi-Fi card back in. That's going into a PCI slot. Uh, the graphics card is sitting pretty there. And everything else, we've put a couple of fans in the back. We've put an external fan and we've put one on the front panel as well just to get a bit of airflow going through there but in general this is all coming together very well right folks the build is complete um, I think it went quite well Bernie all in all considering we started off with quite a few disasters we turned the corner and it's all come out fantastic Let's have a recap then, Bernie. So well, here we go. Let's give it a spin, Bernie. Eh? Give Which it... way do you want to go? Oh, clockwise. There's yeah. to the front. I've put an extra fan in on the front, which lights up blue. Yeah. Oh, nice. Shame about the USB ports, but well. 
and on the top it's got uh, a SATA port so you could put a, another hard drive in there to back up stuff or to read it or transfer the files or whatever and a DVD player not that many people use those nowadays the back where the motherboard is nothing much to see there the back of the case yeah IO shield extra fan card graphics card Wi-Fi card USB 3 card and carry on and a little fancy little display area little display display cut out so you can see the Arctic freezer in there brilliant and our friend Novatech yeah thanks Novatech um, right so just to recap then so we have an i7 it's an Intel i7 3770 at 3.4 gigahertz right we've also paired it with two 8 gig sticks of DDR3 running at 1600 megahertz We've got a 500 gigabyte new SSD and a 500 gig storage, the customer's original drive. And the creme de la creme, the gigabyte GTX 1660 Ti, 6 gigabytes. And I think, okay, so the, the i7-3770 is quite an older chip, but I think it's performing, performing quite well. It's still got legs burning, hasn't it? Yes, yeah, it performed quite well with the card actually. Yeah, so if you've got an older CPU, perhaps an i7 3rd or 4th gen, might want to consider pairing it with a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. It has still got legs. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our videos, hit the bell button, that's something new I'm going to say now, check out our Facebook page. There it is right there, look. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.